Hello there, Shelly Rocks here. Welcome to Aurora Dusk. Now, uh, I, I did a, actually, I stumbled upon this game because somebody was talking about this in the uh, in a Reddit sub subreddit, an incremental subreddit. I like to sort of play these sort of idle uh, browser games. So this is a newish one I've seen. Um, it's not n newly out. I think it's been going out since about 2016 by a, a one-man developer, and it's <laughs> it's strangely addictive. It's like an idle township game. Um, but there's like an adventurous story mode to it as well. So I'm going to start a new adventure and I'm going to have a new character. Now this is all done with the demo this. So um, there does seem to be quite a lot of content just for the demo. So I'm going to create a character and I'm going to call him myself Shirley Rocks of course. And you can choose different careers and you can have different races. So let's have a look at the races. So we can be human, elf, half, elf, door. I want to Oh, Colossus. What's a, what's a Colossus? Colossus of men of great size. They are aggressive creatures and live in room. Yes, that sounds just like me. Uh, now, career. So you can have different careers. Loads and loads of careers. So, so say for instance, I choose farmer. So, plus 20 in the farming skill. So, what's going to be a good one for this? So, I'm a big, horrible ogre giant type of thing. So what am I going to be good at? I reckon I'm going to be good at making al alcohol. <laughs> We're going to have skill alcohols plus 20. Um, and we can, we can specialise in a skill. Hmm. What shall I be skilled in? Hmm. Let's have myself... I'm good in, in pole arms. I think that's going to be good. And we're going to customise my appearance. So there is scope to have loads of different things on here um change the color of my character change the color of my shoes yeah blue shoes uh can have different outfits what do i like the most mm, let's that one belts golden wrestling belt of course and my hair i want to change this so i don't look like jacksepticeye um Let's give myself white hair and pretend I'm a, a white walker from Game of Thrones. Okay, and that is us, and let us start. Okay, so I'm going to go straight on into the main game here in level one, and it's teaching you how to play the game as you go through it. So, damn, this forest is endless. I'll never pass through before nightfall. Near? <laughs> Young Glossus, what are you doing alone in this forest? Hello, my name is Shirley Rocks. I have to go as fast as possible to Aurora City. But this forest is larger than I thought. Okay, you are still far from the edge, monster swarm in the woods. So, she's going to basically teach me how to make weapons. So, first of all, we need to uh, get weapons from a tree. Well, wood from a tree. Let's get some wood. Okay. And then I can make a workshop. So this is quite interesting, this, because you're collecting resources, but then you're also building stuff. So we're going to go and build a hunting uh, little array here, hunting camp. Now, with the hunting camp, I can make a blow dart, which is here, which is 10 wood. Um, in my inventory, wait a minute, how much wood have I actually got? I've got 21 wood. So I can make a dart. And I can make quite a lot of darts as well. Let's make just a bow, well, a blow gun. Okay, and now we're going to make ammo for it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to read all of the text on it because it will drive you mad. So, we're going to make loads of uh, ammo for that. And if you look at my inventory now, I've got a hundred darts. Nice. I have too many darts. Okay, now we're going to look for enemies to shoot in the face. You can zoom out. I can see them coming over here. You click on it once to attack. Or you can click down here. You can zoom in quite nicely as well. There we go. Come on. Come on, blow dart. <laughs> I love the sound of it. Tss. Ooh, nice. Leveled our skill up a little bit there. Proper bully in here. Nice, you fight off the dust cords. So I really like the art style in this. It's like a mixture of 8-bit and... Uh, I was going to say awesome bit, but <laughs> yeah, it's really fun though. So, I've got plus one in shooting weapons, and I've got info about a skeleton. Okay, deer hunting. 
Okay, now we're going to talk about killing deers and skinning them. So I'm not going to read any of that. We are just going to kill this deer. Come on. There we go. Nice. Now, I like... One thing I like about this game is the enemies. Now, they will go ahead and do stuff themselves. So they've built that hunting camp. And then you can use the um, equipment. I'm trying to get that one, but I'm, apparently I'm going to kill this one instead. Okay, now you click on it and you get resources. That means I'm getting leather and I'm getting meat. Now, the meat isn't cooked at the moment. Let's click on resources. You can see here, look, raw meat. So, it is not cooked. I'm going to get this meat as well. Okay, so we need to just cook 10 meat. Okay, we've got enough here. Right, so to cook the meat, you need one wood and 10 meat. So how much wood have I got? I've got more than enough. Right, let's get this meat cooked. So click on that, then click on that. You'll walk over to it, and we're going to start cooking now. Nice. The resource counter on the left is there, and that's how much you've got on the right. So you've, I've got seven meat, I've got eight meat, I've got nine meat, I've got ten meat. Uh, to eat provisions, you can press it in your inventory and select use or press on your red energy gauge. So the red energy gauge is like a stamina gauge. Uh, holding down your energy gauge, you enable or disable auto mode. So let's skip all of that. So if you look here, I've got my stamina gauge. So if I click on that, well, if you right click, you won't also use the food. If you right click, it's activated and my food should start going up. Or well, my stamina, sorry. So there you go. If you do left click, you do seem to get a bit of a boost. Right. I now need to fight off monsters. I can't see any at the moment. I have got, I can make a hunter's hat here. So if you look at that, that gives me 10% resistance. I want a hat. Let's make a hat. I know we're in the middle of a war zone, but I want a hat. There you go. I have a hat. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't affect you visually. That's a shame. I've got a Davy Crockett hat. So you only need to click once. Okay. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Yes. Fight off the Dusk Hordes. So, the single player of this, so far, it's just sort of teasing you and getting you through the game. But it's teaching you all the different aspects. So we've already learned how to craft weapons, how to hunt. So, now we're going to learn about ghosticles. So... We need to build a totem, which is 40 wood, and I have 29 wood. We need at least 40 wood, so I'm going to get a little bit more than that, and then I'm going to place this. Now, generally, you click it and you'll place in that area. Because I've clicked it here, I can drag it around and put it where I want, so I'm going to put it there, and then we're going to place it. Now, I have, have read that your character, as you level up, you keep the skills as you go go through, and you can actually... It did say you could actually complete it in Prestige, it, which sounds quite interesting. So, the area map isn't that big, but there is lots of things you can click on it. Medicinal Herb. Nice. I'm going to wait for this to get finished, and we're going to... I might try and collect some of that. Let's collect that. Nice. So that ghost basically interacts with the totem and comes back to life, which is a, it, it's a bit like a uh, restore point. It, it is used up once you use it, but um, so it, it is it is like a one use thing. Now, is he going to get that and get his health back? Nice. Now, I, I can't actually collect that though. So if you look at my resources, I've got fifty eight medicinal herbs. What a ridiculous amount to have. I'm going to collect a little bit of wood. I reckon we might need another totem. We'll put that there. Right, we're looking for beasties. Can't see any beasties at the moment. It is nightfall. They will come now. That poor little deer there. Right, gained a level in sculpting. Nice. So I could, if I wanted, go and get some of the uh, meat off here. 
As you can see, I've got three, four, oh, four. Okay, if you click on this, I can make leather. Make some little leather booties. Well, fur booties. Now look, I have fur booties. Which gives me, what do they actually give me? Plus 10% ice resistance. Speed plus 15 though, nice. I am like Usain Bolt now. Okay, I'm just gonna let you uh, idle here and keep shooting these in the face. You need to run away. I'm just gonna keep shooting these. You're gonna have to go to that. Now if you watch him, he's gonna die. He's a ghost and he'll go to that totem and he'll, uh, he'll come back to life, hopefully. There we go. I don't particularly want to die myself, so let's uh, try and kill these. And that one is going to take all my units down, structures even. Okay, let's take you. Come on, dart to the face. <laughs> Excellent. Now we are in East Valley. So they are quite through to uh, whiz through these, but they do actually tell you how to do stuff. Okay, now we're going to learn about the guard post tower. So, I'm not going to read any of them, so if you want to read them, then you'll have to pause it. Okay, so you do have a mana gauge up here. Now, you, this is quite an interesting twist. You can place these things. So, I can place mushrooms. And it's where you actually stand. I can place trees. I can place uh, uh, deer. I can place bushes and medicinal herbs. So, these all will start growing up now. And then you basically you just click on them. Okay, we need we, we need wood more than anything else. So if I click on that, I'm going to start getting mushrooms. Nice. It's actually wood that we need. So we need to build this thing here. 250 wood. Now, I like the fact that these all will start helping out and doing stuff. So what you want to do is stick it down. Let's find a point where we want to put it. Um... There. Okay, I've got 46 wood, so I'm going to stick all my wood in it. Now these now will start collecting wood, and then they'll take it to here to help build it, which is cool. I'm going to click on this as well and get a deer spawned, because I can do with the food. Okay, I've used all my wood up. Damn! All my wood's gone. Right. Uh, let's click on that and get our health back up for the mushrooms we've got because we have got mushrooms in our inventory We've got um, how many have we actually got? Oh, have I eaten them all? Oh, I have got I've got six lots of cooked meat Okay There's a uh, resource point going up there Okay, I'm gonna spawn another deer as well. I can nearly get that 15 Come on. Come on. We're nearly on 15. There we go. Now, they will all, all go off and do other stuff. So, as you can see on that now, the that other deer, which I put down, is mysteriously gone. But we're getting wood. And then we're going to... Hopefully, that's enough to build it now. Nice. Thank you, Shirley Rocks. By my name... By, by my name? <laughs> by the way, my name is Yam. As an elf, I'm I'm predispositioned to create plants. Okay. Okay, the monsters are coming. Now, have I actually got a bow? Yeah, I have. I've got 50 ammo. So I think they come from over here. So you can actually sort of zoom a little bit ahead. So I'm going to go over here and help out. Okay. I'm going to take these dirty rats down. And try and take the skeletons down. There we go. Okay. These are getting taken down. Run away. A cheeky little shot. I'm just going to keep getting these. Oh, the totem's getting taken down there on the left by the look of it. Come on. This is nearly taken down, and then we can go and reinforce on the left. I think they've actually... It looks like they're healing the totem. Nice. So it's like you are helping out, but then... 
these other things are good because not only do they help out, they will actually go off and do battles on their own and stuff like that. Okay, we need to get in range. Let's get the bows out. Nice. Here we go. We've resurrected. Ah, we got this. Look at the bows. Nice. So if you're in the, needs to be in a fight with a skeleton, get a bow. Okay, next mission. So we're sort of slowly absorbing all this knowledge. We're learning how to craft, we're learning how to build defensive units. And now we are going to learn about, is it the Oasis? Oh no, this is building huts. So he wants me to build a house. Okay, I've got two houses. I can build a skin teepee or a hut. Uh, a skin teepee gives you stamina generation plus 100%. So, there's not really that much difference between them. Apart from this looks like, this one looks like it's got more uh, health. So, we're going to go ahead and build that. And I'm also going to build that. And then I'm going to go and uh, place my wood. Okay, you can only build one house at a time. You must demolish your house before building another. Right, we want wood. So we'll put some wood there. Oh, that's it. That's all the wood we can actually do at the moment. Okay, let's go and get some wood over here and then we can help out with this tower. So that needs like 250. I've never heard that word before. The wooden tower is a light defense tower which shoots as a gaze? I thought it was just arrows, but obviously not. Okay, we're going to get all the wood from this. And then we're going to go and deliver it. I've got 50 wood. It's going to be quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of wood in, placed in that now. Now, have I got uh, provisions? Yeah, I've got meat. So this still seems to be carrying over between. Which is good. 50 uh, wood to get a tree though, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, let's try and get my health back a little bit there. Okay, so we do need more wood for that. They're going to hopefully do that. Uh, let's get some. Let's get some meat. Now the good thing is you, you only need to click it once, and they'll keep on attacking. Oh, we do need to. Uh, Get the meat actually off the carcass though. Okay. Quite a lot of leather here. Now one cool thing in this, uh, I don't know how important end game is, but you can actually give items to other people. So let's go and try that out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and make an item. So we're gonna go and uh What should we make? Let's make some um let's make some leather. Come on, over here. Come on. Make some leather. There you go. Okay. So we're making leather. We've got nearly ten. Nice. That'll do. Now if I go and give, say, fur shoes. Right. Now, I've got them in my inventory. We can click on it. Click give. And you can give it to someone. So I could give it to you. And go, hey, look, you got some shoes. I'm going to make myself some more shoes, actually, because it gives you a good, uh, good speed boost. Right, time to defend. So let's get back up here and try and help out. There's a lot of skeletons here. Okay, we are engaged. And you can press A to uh, attack the nearest unit, which is what I'm doing. There we go. Oh my, that totem was needed then. They do, they, they do appear to be swarming us. Come on. I think the tower's got quite a lot of strength. We should be okay. Yeah, go on. Yes. 
Nice! Now we're up to the village. You finally leave the desert, but this trip was exhausting. Arriving in the village, you decide to take a break. This is an opportunity to meet the villagers and discover an, an advanced craftsmanship. Now, I believe this is where we will now stumble into the Stone Age. So there is tech levels in this game. So uh, we need to do stuff until we get to the Stone Age. Okay. So we're on Wooden Age at the moment. So as people do stuff, we will advance tech ages. So let's go and collect some wood. Actually, let's use some of this up and we'll... Uh... No, no, we'll keep it. And you'll see why in a minute. We're going to get to the Wooden Age. Well, to the Stone Age, sorry. Let's get all this wood. Okay, I've got 70 wood. Okay. Monsters are coming. There's a military camp to the east. I'm going to evacuate the village and lead you there. I'll deal with the monsters while the civilians are preparing. So I've now got access to new stuff. So if I look at this now, I can now spawn a rock. I can spawn grain field, pigs and sheep. Let's get some uh, stone blocks put down. There we go. I'm going to use all my wood on this to finish this tower. Well, not finish it, but get, get a good chunk of it. And you'll now see I've got extra units so I can build a soul statue. Ooh. So a, that is, that's going to be better than the other one. So you start off with more health when you uh, resurrect from that one. Okay, I've used all my wood up. I can do different workshops now though. So I can make a windmill. I can make a loom. I can make an archery camp. So we do need wood for this. But they are actually building stuff so... Let's go and get some wood and we'll we'll help finish that. That table saw. Oh nice. I think you've uh, done it enough. Now, if you stick logs in this, you can turn the, the logs into planks. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Come on. Nearly got 26 logs. Excellent. And we've got a quarry workshop there, so we can make, we can start making stone items. So if we do get some stone from here. Ah, oh, it's destroyed. Right. Let's get ten. Ten sounds like a good number. Okay, now if we click on that, we can make stone blocks. And as you can see, I can make all sorts of stuff. I can make stone armor. I can make a stone helmet. Nice. We're going for an armor and a helmet. So we're going to make both of them. Stone armor first. And a helmet. And you can't quite tell visually that I've got that on. But <coughs> if I look at this, you'll see I now have stone helmet and stone armor. Okay. We need to fight off the monsters, so <coughs> we need to build all of this up. So we're stuck on resources at the moment, so is there anything else I can build that's going to help? Let's go and get some wood, try and help out with that. We do want to try and build the um, archery camp as well. So we're going to get some wood, and then we're going to place this archery camp down. It's ten planks. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now if we click on that, we can make bows and arrows. So I do need quite a lot of wood for this, so we're going to make a bow. I think that's it, we've made it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. No, we're currently making the bow. It takes a while to make. And we need arrows. So we've got 30 arrows, 35 arrows. I think actually you might have a durability of how much you can actually carry. Um, so we want to equip, equip the bow. So if we clip that, do equip. 
Uh, we don't need to equip the arrows, I don't, I don't believe. But we have got the bow now, which is good. Look how slow I'm walking. Right, let's let's go and try and uh, let's try and take some of these out. Let's try and take the rats out from a distance. Oh, we've got bats coming as well. Oh, come on. No, run away. Come on. Come on. Right, so how's a bow compare against skeletons? Uh, it's not damaging them hugely, but it's better than nothing. I think the, ske the, ske the skeletons are like harder to kill than the uh, zombies, I believe. Okay, let's take that, take that out. Okay, now we'll try the zombies. The zombies look even harder to kill, actually. I'm just going to stand there and try and shoot them. All right, come on, for the horde! Oh no, for the lions! So I do like the way that they're all off doing other stuff while I'm doing this. Nice. We got this. How many arrows have I got left? Five. Should we, should we make a few more cheeky arrows? Come on, make me some arrows. Nice, next mission. Okay, so uh, let's click on next mission and just see what it is. But as you can see, I'm leveling up as I go along, getting better and better at all my skills. So we're up to Falcon Nest. So uh, yeah, I'm we'll gonna leave that there for now. So this is Aurora Dusk, and uh, for, for a demo, this is pretty good. Um, I mean, you can do, I've not even looked at that yet. There is a custom survival game you can do. We start off with a town, so you can choose how many people you want in your town. Looks like it's from one to a maximum of, is it gonna be like 99? I'm feeling like 99s probably. Oh, 100. So you could start off a massive village. Uh, resources, different ages. Oh, look at the ages. I'm not going to play this, but let's have a quick little... Let's do a quick little start of this. So this mode here, look, basically, you're starting with all the people. And that's your area. So you are a small cog in a big wheel. So they're all doing stuff automatically which is pretty it's pretty awesome because look they're all building the wooden towers they're building homes it's pretty pretty cool so uh yeah that's all i'm going to show you for now so uh hope you enjoy this series let me know if you want to see some more of this and that is it for now so i'm shirley rocks thank you so much for uh, clicking on that video and watching uh if you like the content and uh, subscription would be excellent uh just so that you know when I've got new content out. So um, I think you can click su subscribe and then there's like a, I think there's like a bell icon to uh, get notified when I've got new content out. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shayla Rocks. I finished waffling. Goodbye.